Thanks for being here. We are now live on Facebook as well. Thank you. Happy Monday. Hello, beautiful souls. We had a little technical glitch there uh, where Instagram wasn't connecting. So we're connected now. I've got my phone. We've got Zoom. We've got Facebook. Welcome to Magical Monday. It's an absolutely sensational day here in Brisbane. Um, the winters are just gorgeous. So wherever you are in the world, happy Monday or Sunday for those in the US. It's a long weekend. It's a memorial weekend in the US. So hello to all my friends in the US um, that are of celebrating Memorial Weekend. It's a long weekend and they're in summer uh, enjoying the sunshine. Yesterday I was in the park um, across the road and talking about, you know, being out in the sunshine but also earthing. So when you take your shoes off and just connect with the grass, you can just suck up that earth energy up through the soles of your feet all the way through your body, physiologically, it has so many positive benefits. I won't go into the science of it, but it helps to nurture and nourish your body. So I highly recommend it. And it's free, free self-care for you. Okay, so today I'll be doing, um, pulling some cards and doing some readings. So first of all, this um, weekend we have the full moon the full moon in Sagittarius and what Sagittarius um, is all about it, it's big picture thinking um, plus remember back on May the 16th Jupiter moved into Taurus so so together this is a really exciting time because this is all about new possibilities it's about expansion it's about thinking big and and your vision and opportunities for growth and actually al allowing your imagination to expand and create and create your dreams, your vision, what, what, what are you creating in your life? Okay, this is um, a vision for humanity and where we're going. And so this, it, it, we have, what's happened on the planet, it's like a portal has opened and we are moving out of the dense 3D, uh, 3D consciousness and which is really dense. And, and what that means is the 3D is what keeps us stuck in fear. It keeps us stuck in frustration and sadness and anger or just things aren't moving quick in your life. And or maybe you're experiencing or suffering, you know, health issues. So all of this is 3D, 3D density. And when you move out of that and open up your crown chakra and expand your energy field and expand and really connect to the cosmos, connect to our helpers in the galactic and, and it's a whole nother dimension that we're tapping into. And from here, you just, you can speak to those beings on the other side. You can channel information and profound messages to help you here um, on, on this journey. You can ask questions. Remember the crown chakra is your umbilical cord to source energy and you have all the answers within you. So when you really tap in and trust your inner guidance, you can actually ask those questions and have that confirmation and, and that certainty of, yes, I'm going in this direction. 
So tomorrow morning um, and on Wednesday night, I'm actually doing a presentation on bringing together the three brains, which is the head, the heart and the gut and how they all work together in unison. And when you align and again, trust your inner guidance, um, well, that's where you can make clear choices and decisions because, you know, it's all about expanding consciousness and awareness. So this weekend, the full moon in Sagittarius, it's all about shining the light on things. So the full moon is about releasing, letting go. So what do you choose to shine the light on and let go of? And that will just allow for you to open up your expansion and free up that space. You know, when you clean out the clutter, it's like, you know, just say you clean out your garage, all of a sudden you've got all this space and expansion of space. And so the same thing energetically in your life, what are you releasing and letting go of? And this could be all those emotions, <clears throat> excuse me, or those old programs and patterns and old paradigms and stories in your head. I'm just going to take a drink of water. <clears throat> so have a think about the full moon this weekend and what do you choose to release and let go of? And you can um, do the, the burning list. Also, next week, next Monday, starting on June the 5th, I start uh, the five-day discovery training. Now, this is a gift that I am giving you for free Normally, it's $497, and you can check that on my website. And um, people have actually paid, you know, for this training. I'm giving it to you for free for next week. It goes for five days, but each day you will receive the um, messages from email, which has a embed embedded link in it, which takes you to the training videos. Okay. It each day, I'd say maybe 15 minutes max. Okay, just carve out 15 minutes to watch the video and then do the action step. And then at the end, I will keep you accountable for what you create at the end. But each day is a different action step. And this is for anyone who really chooses to take responsibility for your own health and wellness. Anyone who actually feels any pain in your body this could be physical emotional or mental pain it can also be for those who are feeling stuck and you, you know you're not sure on where your direction is and how to take charge of your life and where are you going in your future so that's another area that we will look at as well as, yeah, creating your new future um, and visualising that and rewriting your story and then creating a new habit. So that training starts next Monday and I will pop the link for you to join that. Um, and, yeah, let me know if you've got any questions on that. So... As, yeah, the, the, the energy right now, it's been intense. So I've, I've spoken to several people about sleep issues and um, people, you know, waking up. I'm in the same boat. The energy is intense. So if you're waking up during the night or waking up super early, you're not alone. Everyone's feeling these shifts. And what it's doing is it's shifting and awakening everyone because we're moving into a higher frequency, okay? The whole earth is moving from this 3D consciousness, moving into the fourth and the fifth 
And this will continue for the next few years, FYI, okay? So just be prepared for that. Uh, and then on June the 5th, which is this Sunday, uh, Venus moves into Leo. So this Sunday, which is usually a, a day off for everyone, um, allow your little inner child to go and play, whether it's going out in the park or, or going to a dance, somewhere where you can express express your um, inner child and express exactly, you know, how you're feeling and just shift that energy through movement uh, and or, or playing on the swings or just going to something where it's fun, it's playful, maybe it's comedy where you can just go and laugh and play and just have fun. So it's all about your creativity and expression. So that happens on Sunday. And then there's a lot of other planets that are, are moving, but I'll keep you up to date with that as we move along because energy continues to be very intense, helping everyone for those if you choose to shift, shift consciousness and awaken. So it's a very exciting time on the planet for everyone. And, and if you haven't gone, um, I was talking to someone yesterday and, you know, I just mentioned to her, you know, go on a hike, go on a walk. There's so many uh, walks that you can join, again, you know, for free and go walk with a group of people, whether it's hiking up in the mountains, whether it's going for a, a river walk. We've got the river here. Uh, so whatever city you live in, look into what you can do that, you know, connects you to nature as well as just uh, surrounds you uh, with your community and, and make it fun. Make it fun. Okay, so I'm choosing a card um, from the Good Tarot and we'll see what comes through. And let me just close out. Um, hi, Pranav. Thanks for being here. Okay, we have the Seven of Air and I'll share what the Seven of Air is. So we've got fire, air. So the seven of air is independence, nonconformity, living life on one's own terms without people pleasing. How many of those people please? I, I think we can all <laughs> put our hand up for being guilty of that. So the... Um, Seven of air, now is the time for me to live life on my own terms. So I must find the courage to reject conformity. Listen to my yearning for independence is key to breaking free of groupthink and attending to my own needs. Diplomacy with others can help me to be true to my call to do what I know I must do for myself. And really that is about being true to yourself and doing what you feel. And, and it's not about anyone else. It's about make the choice for you. And, and if, and, and then this is what I say to all my clients, you know, nurture and nourish you. It's not about, people pleasing or or feeling locked in um, or committed to anyone or any situation you get to choose um, what feels good for you and and if it's been just going and taking yourself out with nature going on a hike going for a walk sitting in the park well then do that then you're nurturing and nourishing you as a soul. 
So that's a seven of air. Now I'm also going to choose a card from Archangel Michael and see what Archangel Michael comes through and shares. And thanks, Pranav. Thanks for being here. I'll just close that. There's some, um, I've got other messages coming through. And okay, Archangel Michael, this is for everyone, for the collective. What's the message you would like to share with everybody? <laughs> so this is the card, okay? It says, focus upon divine and perfect health. And the prayer is God and Archangel Michael. Thank you for continuously reminding me to focus upon perfect health and for guiding my actions so that they support my well-being. And in regards to health, we are in charge of our own health and well-being because we're the creator of everything that happens in our body. And if there is something that we don't want, we can uncreate it. And that's how I healed my body of cancer and autoimmune and chronic fatigue and adrenal burnout. Um, I healed my body naturally, medication-free. So this is how powerful you are. And there's so many techniques and, um, and tools that you can use on a daily basis uh, to nurture and nourish you. And this is what my Ben method is all about, which is balance energy, nurture and nourish. And, and it's using these daily tools every day. Last week, um, a client came and she was so stressed and anxious um, and she's a HR manager for a company. But still, even with, you know, all the programs and the apps and everything that the company provides, it is, sometimes that doesn't work for an individual. And so this is where take back your power and take responsibility for your health and well-being to release the stress and the anxiety and learn these tools. And breathing is number one, breathing and meditation. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in and out. And you can do it um, on a different count. So four square breathing is breathing in for four, hold for four and breathe out for four and rest before and just doing that will help your whole nervous system to relax so that's just a little side note but let me share what this card is so um, the message from Archangel Michael says that the key to good health is to focus upon your well-being instead of on sickness or injury you drew this card as a reminder to stay centered on your desires, not your fears. Bodies react instantly to love and fear. So choose the former in this situation. Pour genuine affection and blessings into every cell. Visualize and expect perfect health for yourself and others. And speak of yourself and loved ones in terms of perfect health, affirming that all is well. So um, th this is also what I say in all my talks and presentations and even conversations is there's only two Two emotions, love or fear, and you get to choose which one. And again, make the choices that make you feel good. So this is where the, the three brains come in, you know, the head, the heart, and the gut. Because when you listen to your heart, which is very expansive, and your gut is all about your feelings, 
and and then through the neurotransmitters and these neural pathways it communicates to the head to make the choice so really follow your feelings other possible meanings is you'll notice an improvement in your health follow your intuition regarding health and healing your life purpose involves healing make positive changes to your lifestyle and use uplifting affirmations especially about health and seek a second medical opinion and I highly recommend that if you have um, been given a diagnosis, well, uh, do, do your research. So seek um, another opinion, okay? This is all about you taking back your power. You have the ability to heal your own body. And you do. That's how powerful you are. So this week... Go and create those dreams, those visions. Allow your imagination to expand. Allow all the opportunities for growth and an expansion come in uh, and, and dream bigger. This is dream bigger and, and reconnect to nature. Go, go and, you know, talk to the trees or put your bare feet on the ground and, and just suck up that earth energy and it's available. It's free and also breathing, it's free. So there's a lot of things that you can do just to reconnect with who you truly are, connect with your heart and, and allow the energy to flow through you. And that's what will improve your health and well-being long term and that's what we're all here for so next week is the five-day discovery training i'm gifting it to you for free and and also if you would like to book in for a one-to-one -one treatment this can be body work energy work a reading or a combination thereof I also have a special package that includes the Ben Method training and that's a program where every week you get a video training that's part of that package. So that's a, a new package that I've just created and put up on my website and I invite you to um yeah, book in and start receiving those trainings. That's my way of supporting you long term um, instead of people just coming for a healing or a, a one off treatment and then see you later, have a good life. I can actually um, support you for, for the days, weeks, months, however long you choose to keep receiving that training and, and also receiving a treatment for you. So any questions, let me know. And uh, thank you for those who are watching as well as those who are watching the replay. And go out and have a magical week and go and create miracles this week it's the energy is amazing it's all about you creating and expanding and what what brings you joy and and tap into love and and just fill every cell in your body with love and light okay much love to everybody goodbye on instagram and goodbye to those on Facebook. Any questions, let me know. And I'll put the link to the five-day challenge um, in the comments. Okay, bye for now.